Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Victoria Chang from her collection Obit, published by Hopper Canyon Press in 2020. This was a Lannan literary selection. The poem I'm going to read is midway through the collection and is entitled Grief, or this is the obituary brief. Grief, as I knew it, died many times. It died trying to reunite with other lesser deaths. Each morning, I lay out my children's clothing to cover their grief. The grief remains, but is changed by what it is covered with. A picture of oblivion is not the same as oblivion. My grief is not the same as my pain. My mother was a mathematician, so I tried to calculate my grief. My father was an engineer, so I tried to build a box around my grief, along with a small wooden bed that grief could lie down on. The text kept interrupting my grief, forcing me to speak about nothing. If you cut out a rectangle of perfectly blue sky, no clouds, no wind, no birds, frame it with a blue frame, place it face up on the floor of an empty museum with an open atrium to the sky, that is grief. Um, and that was Grief from Obit, uh, published by Copper Canyon Press in 2020 by Victoria Chang. Um, if you aren't familiar with this collection, please do check it out. You can read more about it in the description for the video. Uh, the description of the video has more information about the poet, Victoria Chang, also a link to the publisher's website to purchase this book and uh, more information about other projects that I'm currently involved with. Uh, so please do check out those descriptions. There is valuable, hopefully valuable, information in there. And uh, by all means, do check out these poets and their publishers. It's a great way to support them, great way to buy directly from the publisher and support the publisher. And um, do uh, send a thank you note if you enjoy uh, these readings and they inspire you to check out these poets, please do let them know that uh, their work is being read and appreciated. Um, I'm grateful for all of you and uh, wish you all the best as we press forward into winter. Um, if you want to support this channel, uh, small, simple ways that you can do that are by liking these videos, by um, commenting below on things that you liked, things that you'd like to see more of, um, sharing them on social media, or subscribing to the channel. And if you subscribe to the channel, you'll be notified every time there's a new video. I do these three times a week, every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. And my hope is that by doing this, by showcasing these different poems and different poets, that in some small way, I can give back to the larger community, expand my own and other people's uh, experiences with these poets, uh, perhaps introducing poems and poets to you that you might not know. Uh, sometimes I'm discovering them as well. Um, I do my best to, to keep expanding my collection of poetry, and I'm always interested in hearing from poets who have books out that would like to be featured on the show. Um, please do let me know. Um, we'll try to figure out a way to get a hold of your book and uh, include it in the reading series uh, whenever possible. And um, I think that's about it. So I'm Neil Aiken. This is the Hermit Poetry Series. I hope wherever you are, you're staying warm. Winter is coming, if it hasn't already. For us, I've already had one day of shoveling snow out of the driveway, um, and I'm back to wearing winter clothes again. So, hey, welcome to Canada. Welcome to Saskatchewan. Um, so perhaps it's not cold yet, but it will come um, in your part of the world, or maybe it won't, and you can just look at all of us wherever we are, and think, it's so much warmer where I'm at. Um, so, who knows? Um, but uh, wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're finding joy in the creative process, things that you're doing, and that you are finding opportunities to connect with other people. Um, and whether that's in person, or whether that's online, through uh, video conferencing, or just chatting with people via different social media platforms, or creating content that allows you to connect with others. All these, all, all these things, I think, are parts of that process by which we are stitched together into a larger, larger fabric, a larger quilt. 
stitch quilts together? I guess we do. Um, so in any ways, I wish you all the very best and hope that you stay safe and well and warm wherever you are. Find joy in the things that you're creating and the creations of others. And uh, until next time, uh, continue to do what you're doing to build those bridges, connect the larger world, whether it's through poetry or art or music, whatever it is that you create. Um, may you find joy in it. May others find joy in it. And so until we meet again, stay safe, and we'll be back again very soon with more poetry. Until then. Yes.